Rapaholic is a concept that celebrates my hard work through the years and have a wonderful time with the fans. I also celebrate Ghana music as a whole. Rapaholic has moved from just a sack audio show to a show for the masses. You know, prior to this year's concert, I was super excited, but at the same time, I was very worried. Worried because I wasn't in my best shape to perform, but had already broken in for about the show coming on. I had a serious sore throat, cold, mad headache, and had lost my voice, which I blame myself for stressing it before the main day. As big as Rapper Holiday is, I can't treat it as normal show, and therefore I need a lot of rest, so I don't stress myself. But it's almost impossible since demand is on autopilot. Friends in the industry, I have to support back-to-back -back shows and all that took a toll on me. Since the whole show was centered around me and I have to be on stage for at least two hours back-to-back, -back, it ain't easy. So I definitely have to prep myself for the day. Few days to the event, we did some promo rounds, you know, as usual, and I loved it. You know, great interviews with my brother, and the Dusty from Hits FM. Um, we did KOD on Star FM. More on Rapaholic 2018. It's on 20 minutes. Jerry Justice on our door. My brother Antoine on Live FM. Who's your favorite on this track? Like, which verse really hits your heart? Sabi Forsen on Hits. I'll bet the bomb, baby. Get suck. What's up, Charlie? Good to see you, man. How are you? Beautiful Dorinando on Joy FM. And a whole lot more. I had a lot of appearances to support my brothers in the industry. Can promise, promise land. Went to Takra Day, you know, to support the Fikinata as well. It's Christmas, man. Who's not excited about Christmas? We're out here at Takra, the Westing vibes today. Tonight we're supporting Kofikinata. And yes, of course, Rapaholics in a couple of days. Tuesday, 25th of December, Charlie. You already know. Experience, yeah. Came back to support my brother Manifest, which was an epic night. Oh, history was made. On the road, I was exhausted, but it was necessary too. So on the D Day, checked in into my hotel. Did fit in with Starless, Trendy Real, the best. Obviously take off the socks, but you can't roll up the sleeves. 25th of every year, of December every year. You might as well call it a holiday day or sack day, no? What do you think? Trendy, me and you are here, you are trending. Yes, yeah, you are trending. Best stylist, best stylist, ultimate. Then we head out to soundcheck. I love the stage, it was different. As always, things drag due to previous show a day before ours. So they had to take down stage, so we build ours. That gets me nervous. I was very, very nervous. Because I didn't want what happened previous year to repeat. Charlie, I know they like Mumbia Gate. last year. I beg you, could you, could you make them go sit? Hey, Charlie. I remember calling Kojo, you know, one of our partners coordinating the show to open the door so the fans can just go and sit. It's always about the fans and the experience that they have. Earlier in the day, I had a call that my brother Idris Elba was in town and wanted to come to the show. I really appreciate that and want to thank him and the crew for coming. So we used to see Hollywood so far that we felt this is fantasy. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, you can only do what we're doing here. So, you see when I talk about music, when people say, oh, I heard you dropping bars and all that. 
What they heard so far is just jokes, you know what I mean? If you're gonna listen to a big man, I'm a 46 year, so yeah. if I'm rapping, if I'm out there spitting, I have to yeah. give you knowledge. So much, thank you so much. So after the show, if I don't see you, then this week, yeah. We had an interesting conversation and I love my brother's vibe. Rapaholic has always guest packed and I do agree that the brand has outgrown the conference center, but our options are limited in Ghana. As much as we want to have all the fans have this experience, the quality of the stage, the look and feel we want is very hard to achieve outdoor and therefore makes us always go back to the same venue. But I think it's about time we just move it so the space can take more, so it doesn't feel overcrowded. I loved every bit of the show, but I feel I could have done more if I hadn't stressed myself too much. But in all, the people had fun, they had a great time, and that's most important. But as a perfectionist, I always want to get things close to perfection. Priceless highlights like BB by performance had goosebumps all over me. To see these young kids just killing the microphone back to back was everything. Taking it back to the music that made me from old school, the legendary Tiny, x in Chicago, T-Blaze, Akatechi, Bright of Bookback, man, that was epic. Right after we crowned it with my favorite part of the whole night, performing with the legend, Amachi Dede. We definitely had a magic moment when we premiered a new song by me and Afia. Had great, great response from the people. So you guys should let me know if you want me to drop the song ASAP or hold on. Again, let me say thank you to God for making this successful. To my team for the hard work. All my colleagues in the game who came to support. And of course, my Sack Nation. I love you from my heart and God bless you. See y'all next year and you know what time it is.